Hello, Magic Community on YouTube. I'm T1 Glistener Elf. Uh, there was a question that was sent to me that was supposed to be in the AMA, uh, but it made it a little bit too late, I'm afraid. Uh, now, I think that this question actually deserves its own video anyway, so here you are. The question is, if I won an Invitational, what magic card would I create? Now, the cheaty face answer for me, I guess, is I would like to be another art for the card Glistener Elf. Of course, it's me, it has to be. Uh, the art for the one that you see up here is by Matthew Back, one of the subscribers to this channel. Uh, a link in the doobly-doo to his channel. Give it a look. And he just gave me that for free, so you are awesome, dude. And mimicking, of course, the pose that Glistener Elf has in the uh, new Phyrexia card. I think that I like this pose more than I do the FNM promo, personally. Or I could just do something else. It doesn't matter. If I were any magic card, it would be Glistener Elf. It's just like Brian Kibler would be Wild Nicotle, of course. <laughs> you get the idea. That's absolutely what I would want it to be. But that being the case, if I had to make my own card... So I, I ran a little bit of a thought experiment. Follow me, if you don't mind. So, for a two-mana, one colorless, one blue, or rather one generic, I guess it is now, because waste mana, uh, but one generic, one blue, for that particular cost, and given the three abilities, Hexproof, Infect, and Cannot Be Blocked, two of the combinations have already been used on one ones. Those, of course, are Invisible Stalker, Hexproof, Unblockable, and Blighted Agent, Infect, Unblockable. What about a 1 and blue, Hexproof, Infect, 1-1? One, one? That would be mine. This is what I've designed. Objured Oil Bearer. Hexproof, Infect. I think that if one of those two needs to get reminder text, it would be Infect. Hexproof, of course, has seen quite a bit of printing. And that's it. That's really it. Just a 1-1 one, one Hexproof Infect. Um, it might actually... I, I think I need to get a flavor judge on this one, because I uh, am not sure what I think about the flavor text. His mission gives him purpose. His form gives him power. His will gives him protection. Jin Gitaxius, Core Augur. Now, originally, I had uh, Elishnorn, I believe it was saying his faith gives him protection. I'm not so sure. There are a few cards like Consecrated Sphinx that actually talk about Jengitaxius' blessings. So there is sort of a faith aspect, and Phyrexia, new Phyrexia at least, has always had just a tinge of religious zealotry to it, right? Think blind zealot, think, you know, Consecrated Sphinx, think quite a few cards with Elishnorn in them, bringing a, not just order, but sort of a like religious undertone to it. Well, anyway, Objured Oil Bearer. I like the flavor text. Oh, why am I talking so much about the flavor text? Uh, because I, I can't decide which one I like more. Uh, but it, And it's also Elishnorn commenting on a blue card, so I think Jinkataxius makes more sense on that front. But enough about that. What really matters, instead of majoring on the minor, let me talk about the part that really matters. Hexproof and Infect might be the most powerful combination of those three. Hexproof and Unblockable, standard powerhouse, occasional modern play, that's it. Blighted Agent, Unblockable Infect is powerful enough to see legacy play. Hexproof Infect? Hexproof Infect? First of all, it can't be a common, because that puts it in Popper. Oh yeah, <laughs> we, we definitely don't want that thing in Popper, for sure. Uh, so, but it, it of course can't be anything greater than Uncommon either, because it do, it's not that kind of a card, it's not that powerful, it's not that important to the set, it's just a random guy. By the way, shoutouts to Tom Ross for being in the art for this one. Tom Ross, you are 
awesome, you are the boss for a reason. And uh, instead of just pulling some random art from DeviantArt, I just wanted to give you a shout out, so there you go. Being, being the boss, wearing those boss shades. But I think that if it happened to be possible, if it's something that could actually be done, then I would want that to be my invitational card. Of course, whenever an invitational card was made, very rarely did they actually come up with something right off the bat that was just where it needed to be. For instance, Snapcaster Mage, Tiago Chan's card, that is not at all what it started out as. It started out as a land with last word on it, basically. <laughs> and if that seems a little bit strong, there's a reason for that. It is. I don't know if this would be too strong. I wonder what your thoughts are in the comments below. But, but, if I actually could make any card, it actually would not be either of those. It wouldn't be me as Glistener Elf, awesome as I think that that would be. By the way, on that note, it'd have to be me with long hair back when I had it, but whatever. Uh, and I wouldn't want Obdured Oil Bearer to be my card if I only get one. These two seem very flavorfully like me, but there's something that I want to make more than that. And I'll tell you in the next video. Till then, stay cool, Magic Community.